Mario in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers around the world, straight out of Narawa here via Titahi Bay. Here's Mario. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, 3.5. How's your day been? Mine's been full. Rainy. And, well, very positive. So, I started the day off uh, heading into a class at 8 a.m. I loaded up the GPS with the batteries and well, I got into the car and it was uh, persisting down with rain. I actually took a photo of the rain through the car window as a, a possibility for the front front of the the vlog today, but well circumstances overtook it so yes it was raining got a couple of texts from my friday crew asking if we're going out in the field i said no we'll be doing a a little bit of uh, revision so yep some of the friday crew didn't turn up uh, others did and well there was three or four of us there and so we sat down and did a, a little bit of a revision, but we had a little bit of a bit of a chat about a few different things. I have to say I enjoyed my morning immensely. Um, it was uh, yes, not very productive, but I yeah, it was good good fun, very enjoyable. And yeah, we got a little bit of study done and covered a few things and had a few a few laughs and things like that. So um, yeah, I, I, I quite enjoyed that. And that led us up uh, to lunchtime. And after lunchtime, I had my magazine crew. And well, they were uh, pretty awesome uh, as well. I got some quite positive feedback. Um, I've been doing some work with them on the, uh, the way on presentations and they're doing presentations on other subjects and they were telling me uh, you know how pleased they were with the way their presentations were going in the other subjects and when they compared what they were doing to what the other guys who hadn't had that preparation were doing um, yeah they were yeah they were very pleased and it was yeah, it was quite good feedback I, I quite um, yeah um, trying to be uh, model, modest and humble here but uh, no it was it was uh, quite pleasing I was quite pleased with that and and they were um, quite um, pleased with their own performance and how it had impacted on their studies and things like that so that was all all well and good so we got that sorted and uh, went on home and I uh, tra I thought well I'll Friday nights is usually my well web crap of the week night. I do my videos, so I don't do too much Wintech stuff. So I headed on home, and the weather had improved somewhat. It was uh, pretty wet in the morning, very, very wet. And so in the, but in the afternoon, it sort of was that dampish, typical uh, after rain, Waikato type, reasonably high humidity type thing. So I went out to the, into the garden, and round the shed there, and I pulled out two star posts. Um, I've, I'm going to do a video. I've, I've left one in a prime position so I can do a video when there's some good weather and what have you. I'm doing them with a car jack. Um, I might go a little bit. I'm using a wind-up car jack, but I may, because my hydraulic ones are not performing as they should. But I may uh, go to the hydraulic at some point. So, yes, yeah, stand by. So I got those two out. And I had discussed with my wife this morning of going to the night market for tea again. Last week we went and we certainly overindulged and we had uh, sort of resolved to be uh, moderate our 
intake uh, this evening and we'd head on down there. So my wife uh, rugged up and had a beanie on and that because it's an outdoor thing and it's, it is quite chilly out there at night. And so she was all good to go. And we went out there and then I couldn't find my phone because I didn't I wanted to record my steps. <laughs> and uh, well, I karate kicked down a mandarin tree <laughs> out in the garden. I was feeling quite pleased with myself. And in, in the act of doing that, I my phone had dislodged into the garden. So we spent a little bit of time out in the dark with torches. Uh, and uh, finding my phone, and we, we got that underway. So that was a little bit of a delayed start, but we got over that and off down, and we went to the night market, and, well, it was there was no night market. It wasn't there. Uh, it's supposed to be on, but I think it might have been cancelled on account of the rain. So we said, oh, right, off to the, to the food hall at the base. And so we went to the food hall, and as we were walking into the food hall, I noticed, well, my wife noticed that there was a, a new place there, and it sold bubble tea. I thought, oh, bubble tea, I've got to try that. So I made a mental note of that, and my wife decided she was going to have sushi. Um, so we're, start, you know, pretty healthy, and I had a bit of a wander around. I thought, oh, I don't know whether I go for Peter Pitt or maybe a, an Indian or... And then I discovered this place, um, Dombur, it had Domburi, Domburi. Um, I for, I've forgotten the name of it, but it was sort of a, a uh, Japanese, maybe Korean sort of fusion place, takeaways. And they had this Domburi, which I sort of thought, oh, well, I'll give it a crack. So um, that was, um, it has a, a bowl of rice and then it's got a salad on top of that and then a choice of three hot, um, three hot things. So I had some, um, some chicken, some pork and I thought oh, I'll give the tofu a go. If I, if I don't like the tofu, I can always not eat it, you know, not probably never going to happen. But anyway, so I got this and well, it was, yeah, I was very, very happy with it because it fits in with my rice and vegetable diet, which is good. Um, I did go a little bit down the white meats, pork and chicken, which, you know, I do occasionally. And the, uh, the tofu that they had there was, it was nice. It was very was a creamy white tofu. It had a very nice uh, toast a uh, taste to it, and it had like a crispy coating on it. So that was very nice, and the various sauces you could have with it. So I was quite um, pleased with that. It wasn't cheap. It was eighteen fifty, and I washed it all down with the bubble tea. So uh, yeah, very. I'm so pleased that I I went and discovered that because I'll certainly be going there again for a. I think it's a Domburi, Domburi. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm forgetting the key point in that turning up to the base, it was raining, so I decided I'd go into the underground car park. And then I remembered, oh, 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 there's a, uh, there's some special car parks there right by the door for the 65 plus. So, yeah, I had my gold card, had me. 65 years under me belt so there i am parked in the 65 plus car park first usage of that and uh yeah i got the last car park there and uh, yeah just a nice little quick flick up the escalator which uh stopped going <laughs> during the course of our meal and there was a power cut in the middle of the meal at the base and then the elevators weren't going i suppose they turned themselves off as a safety precaution and then they have to actually be restarted I guess by security or something I'm, I'm not sure but anyway yeah so a golden golden moment the gold card strikes again so uh, that's all, all 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 well and good and tomorrow off for an infusion and uh, well lunch at the blissful vegan hopefully hopefully they aren't closing down it's a long weekend so we've got the Monday, the Monday off, um, Monday off is Queen's birthday. 
Queenie's uh, Queenie's birthday celebrations. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at the diary and just fill in the gaps there. Four two five two steps, which is not bad for an indoor indoor a day. A uh, yeah, bit of gardening, bit of uh, night marketing, food hauling, and a little bit of up and down around the the Wintech campus or precinct. We've got a question coming up. Hint three on the where, what, who. Proving to be a little bit elusive. Web crap coming up after this. Six hours of uh, teaching. Emails. Got some done, but still a little bit there. And, well, overall, I guess, rainy day. A rainy day, but, um, yeah, sort of cleared towards the... Well, no, I had a few showers, but sort of clearing. So who knows what tomorrow will bring, but... I'm sure you'll, um, well, you'll just have to stand by and I'll tell you in tomorrow's vlog. So let's have a look at today's challenge. And here it is. Which of these was an Olympic event from 1900 to 1920? Which one of those? The egg and spoon race, tug of war, three-legged race, or quoits? Hmm. Yes, so put your answer in the comments below the video if you know. If you don't know, you could have a guess. Nothing wrong with a, nothing wrong with a good educated guess. And well, or you could look it up and put the answer in the comments below the video. So that brings us to yesterday's uh, question, and the answer was billboards. Tartan Snowflake was on to that one. Emo and Izzy uh, actually guessed my pick, which was Crocs. I thought it would be Crocs. <laughs> the uh, fashion crime of the century. Uh, stand by for web crap of the week. I've got a uh, a couple of croc references in there, uh, so um, yeah, you might want to uh, just uh, you know sort of expand your croc knowledge. Uh, <laughs> a croc of crocs, suppose so to speak. But uh, yes, yeah, so Imo and Izzy, uh, thanks uh, there. But uh, sorry, crocs was not the right answer. Billboards. And uh, so, thanks to everybody for watching, uh, commenting, liking and subscribing. Appreciate your efforts and the marvellous time and work that you put into Mario's channel and daily vlog. And well, I'm planning to be here tomorrow. With a bit of luck, I might see you. All good. Cheers. See you. That's all, folks. This has been a Mario presentation recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, capital of the Waikato district, a district towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand, land of the long white cloud, that little country at the bottom of the globe, place where Kiwis live.